So check this out. I got my black belt in karate. Yay! I had my belt test a month ago and last night, uh, Tuesday night, today is Wednesday, I had my belt presentation and I got my certificate and my brand new belt. So check this out. I got my Shodan first degree black belt in Mabukan Gojiru Karate. So this belt is very thick and stiff. And uh, yeah, I gotta break this bad boy in. So let's see if I can get this on. Oh, it's so thick. Oh, it's stiff. This belt is really difficult to tie. I can't, I can't make it tight. Oh, I've got some footage from my belt presentation last night. Check it out. This certificate says that Sabrina Lean has achieved the rank of Shodan on the 27th day of March 2021. We expect to continue training and diligent study. We we'll continue further to progress in the art of Goju Karate Do. Congratulations. We have to get a little bit closer. So I started karate four years ago. A year before I started karate, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. She has multiple myeloma. It's a cancer of the blood in the bone marrow and it's rare and it's not curable. That first year after her diagnosis was very difficult. I was caught in this grief cycle all the time. I was really angry. I was really overwhelmed. I was feeling incredibly stressed out and unhappy. I couldn't sleep. I didn't have an appetite. I couldn't calm down. I I was just like super tense all the time and the only way that I could get even a little bit of sleep every night was through excessive intense exercise which kind of helped in the short term but wasn't really sustainable so I was having a difficult time and my kids had been going through a difficult time with bullying and social anxiety and then I came across the website for my dojo and I thought this could be a good fit for all of us and so that first day all three of us tried our first class and we were all hooked immediately and karate speaks to me like nothing ever has in my life. I've never felt that click like I do with karate, with martial arts, and it changed my life honestly and it saved me. Karate teaches you to do the tough work even when you don't feel like it. And what I learned through my mom's diagnosis and through practicing karate is that being strong doesn't mean that you don't feel weak at times and that having courage doesn't mean you never feel terrified. The interesting thing with martial arts is as a martial artist you are inviting pain into your life. You are welcoming it and giving space for it and room for it. So instead of trying to hide from pain or push it away you are welcoming it and embracing it. And as a martial artist you trust yourself and you come to trust yourself to have the strength to handle all of that. I am so grateful for martial arts. I'm so grateful for karate. I'm so grateful for my sport. I am so grateful for <laughs> all of the amazing people I have met all on the way. And I've only been practicing for four years. Like that's not very long. I'm, <laughs> I'm still a baby <laughs> in all this, but it's helped me so much. I can't even express it. So I'm grateful to all of you martial artists who I've met, to my sensei Dan Nicholson. You have been so great and so helpful and a mentor to me. And I literally could not have gotten this without you because you gave it to me. <laughs> Thank you for that. So I want to dedicate this video to my beautiful mother who navigates pain and suffering and she's been through a shitload in her life, who navigates all of that with an incredible amount of elegance and grace and courage, resilience and strength. She is the warrior that I strive to be. I love you, Mom. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean this to be an emotional video, but hey, this is this is kind of important to me. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, hey, you know what this means now? This black belt around my waist? This means I can kick all your asses now. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Just yours.